Paul rise, please. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Let us begin today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Danny died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. Funeral pall is meant to be a reminder to us of the white garment with which we're clothed in baptism and the new life that was promised to Danny on the day of his own baptism and the new life that we trust he now shares. Now would you please join in our opening hymn. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son, who died on the cross, was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servant, Daniel, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for our first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples. The web that is woven over all nations, he will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. This is the word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Because you are God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with heartfelt mercy, with kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another. Forgive whatever grievances you have against one another. Forgive as the Lord has forgiven you. Over all these virtues, put on love, which binds the rest together and makes them perfect. Christ's peace must reign in your hearts, since as members of, this, of the one body, you have been called to that peace. Dedicate yourselves to thankfulness. Let the word of Christ, rich as it is, dwell in you. In wisdom made perfect, instruct and admonish one another. Sing gratefully to God from your hearts in psalms, hymns, and inspired songs. Whatever you do, whether in speech or in action, do it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Give thanks to God the Father through him. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. With A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. One of the scribes decided to ask Jesus, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, this is the first. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the second. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Excellent teacher, you are right in saying, He is the one, and there is no other than he. Yes, to love him with all our heart, with all our thoughts, and with all our strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves, is worth more than any burnt offering or sacrifice. Jesus approved the insight of this answer and told him, you are not far from the reign of God. And no one had the courage to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I'd like to begin today by offering my sympathy and condolences to all of you in this your time of sorrow and loss. I remember when my own parents died, uh, first my father, then my mother, just this sadness and sense that the old days were, the good old days were passing away and, and there's, then there was also that horrible feeling of, boy, I'm going to miss them. And, and even after all these years, because it's been over a decade now since my dad died, uh, there is this, still that moment-to-moment -moment feeling once in a while that, oh, I sure wish she was here. And I'm sorry you're going to have to go through that over the, these next 10 years or so. But at the same time, you need to keep a couple things in mind as you're missing this man you love. First of all, understand why you miss him. Understand that you miss him for a good reason. You miss him because he was a blessing to you. He was a good and happy part of your life. You know, when I read all the things that uh, Carrie sent me about him, uh, I was impressed because it sounded like he was a guy who really was a joy to be with, somebody who was a force of 
happiness, somebody who made the lives of the people around him happier. And that really is a wonderful gift because that's what we're supposed to be. You know, we are supposed to go through life living so as to make the lives of the people around us better, happier, and holier. That's what St. Paul was writing about in that second reading in his letter to the Colossians. He was saying to them, you know, treat one another with humility and gentleness. Make sure you live with a sense of patience. Bear with one another. And he did that for, or wrote that for two reasons. Uh, first, he wanted people to understand that if they led lives that were marked by a sense of compassion and a sense of kindness, then that wider community around them would look and say, ah, see the way these Christians live, and they'd be attracted to that. And so it was a good way to preach the gospel without actually standing up and saying, well, here's what Jesus taught. But at the same time, he understood that if people lived lives that were marked by a sense of you know, compassion, that is understanding what someone else is going through and doing what you can for them, a sense of humility, that's the ability to think that other people are more important than we ourselves are, uh, a sense of love, you know, that has to do with self-sacrifice, you know, a sense of mercy and uh, bearing with one another, understanding that the people we love aren't necessarily perfect, but we love them anyway. And if, he's, if these early Christians were going to lead those sorts of lives, well then, not only would the rest of the world be impressed, which it was, but also their lives would be made better and happier because of it. Because they would show compassion towards one another, they would show kindness and forgiveness to one another, and it would make for a happier life in what really was a, a difficult world and a difficult day and age. And that's the way it turned out. And that's what we need to make sure we give thanks for on a day like today, that you had this person in your life who was kind and compassionate, and somebody who had a, a sense of humor, because that comes with a sense of humility. You know, um, we need to make sure that we give thanks for the good life that was lived, the 85 years of good life that was lived. At the same time as all that, we need to make sure we pay attention to that first reading. Because in that first reading, uh, the prophet Isaiah was saying to Israel, hey, I know things are tough right now, but wait, the good day, the great day is coming. And so he talked about on that mountain, the Lord of hosts will do all these wonderful things. And what we Christians have taken from that reading over these past 2,000 years is that the day is coming. The day is coming someday when we'll all be gathered together again in God's kingdom. And that we won't uh, just die, but instead we'll get to see Danny and all those good people who have gone before him and all those good people who have gone before us and ultimately all those good people who come after us. And it will be a time of happiness, light, and peace. And that's what the prophet Isaiah was writing about. Just wait, we're having a tough time now, but the day is going to come in which all this will be made right. And so what you need to be thinking about today are those, those two realities that are such important parts of our faith. The fact that somebody did lead a good life, that uh, your father, your father-in-law, your grandfather, uh, led a good life. And he gave you a lot of reasons to be happy over these last however many years. And the fact is that as time goes on, even while you miss him, you're still going to be looking back and not just being sad, but being happy and thankful that he led that sort of life. And at the same time, you're going to realize that, and that life hasn't ended. But now, he's with God in his heavenly kingdom, and the day is going to come in which you're going to see him again. So make sure you try to keep that in mind, and hopefully it'll give you some comfort and consolation, some sense of hope in this difficult time. So I'm sorry again, but give thanks and look forward to the good day to come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please rise. And now, my brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for his church. 
confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. For Danny, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brother, who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, they may have the reward of their goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Please rise. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord so that your departed servant, Daniel Joyce, may be taken up into glory with your Son, in whose great mystery of love we are all united through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Lawrence our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Daniel Joyce, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Please rise. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will, will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say the word and, and I shall be healed. Shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, that your servant Danny, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
trusting in God. We have prayed together for our brother, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see him again and enjoy his friendship. Although we will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. To your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother, Danny Joyce, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon him in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to, to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now in peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. Just be.